Okay, I think I've got five minutes. That shouldn't take uh, totally five minutes, but uh, can you hear me? You're okay? It's coming through? Okay, I, uh, it is a, has been a, a tremendous privilege for me to be able to be your representative since 2000. Uh, I've had a uh, uh, really wonderful opportunity to represent you in the House of Commons. Uh, we have, uh, I, after this last election, I had the opportunity as well to uh, be asked by the Prime Minister to serve in Cabinet. So we. Uh, just to let you know what my direct responsibilities were uh, in cabinet has been that uh, I was a, as a minister of state for transport. I mean, transport is a very broad portfolio. If it moves, it's yours. Sometimes some things that don't even move, they're yours. But nonetheless, uh, I look after uh, Canada Post, Via Rail, Airport Security, uh, the Royal Canadian Mint, Marine Atlantic, uh, Ridley Terminal, it's just a coal terminal on the west coast. Uh, there are about 15 of them. Uh, I could go through them all, you wouldn't remember them, so uh, that's the bulk of the, of the larger ones. I look after all things uh, uh, railway, so I'm uh, a minister in charge of the railways, as well as a minister in charge of Alberta and Saskatchewan infrastructure. So it's a privilege to be able to have taken us through this recession and dealing with the infrastructure projects uh, in this riding, and uh, not only in this riding, but this province, as well as uh, uh, in this community. And I believe it's a little over $50 million in infrastructure just in this uh, community alone. So it has been significant. We've uh, tried to create the jobs that were lost during the recession, which was about 400,000 across Canada. We've recaptured those jobs. Uh, we're about 480,000, a little more than that. 90% uh, of those are full-time, uh, well-paying jobs. So we are doing well coming out of this recession. We have uh, spent more than we should in the sense of uh, we can't keep spending the way we were. The project was started as saying it was uh, timely, targeted, and temporary, meaning that we had to do these projects when the recession was uh, in mid-flight uh, or in the depths of the recession so that we could get the best bang for the dollar for taxpayer dollars and we were actually able to do that in Alberta. It worked very well. In fact, uh, these projects were accelerated and we worked with the province and municipalities to be able to make them happen. Uh, we accelerated them uh, and were able to build them at a much more competitive pricing so we were able to actually uh, scrape up another $66 million in, in just uh, uh, projects that came in under budget and reinvest those dollars. So we, we actually did very well in Alberta and, and well in Saskatchewan. So I'm very proud of, of our success there. The Auditor General gave us an A grade on our infrastructure projects and she doesn't give many of those, so we are very pleased at that. Uh, we have been able to prepare for the recession actually prior to with our tax regime. So we uh, had cut taxes in about 120 different ways. Uh, the average family of four has $3,000 more in their pockets and when we came into power, so we were able to uh, reduce taxes for the ad average ordinary person. When it comes to seniors, we've taken uh, you know hundreds of thousands of them uh, or thousands of them off the payroll uh, or off of the tax uh, roll, so they're not paying taxes. Uh, we uh, are uh, certainly have uh, on the corporate side of lower taxes and on the small business side uh, lower taxes as well. So we, we have a competitive advantage right now that we've never had before. We're the lowest, one of the lowest uh, taxed regimes in the G7, actually in the G20. So that's given us an advantage, particularly a, uh, competitive compared to the United States, which is our largest trading partner. We've uh, tried to uh, go after some of these international markets. We've had free trade, trade deals signed with eight different countries. We're working with 50 other countries, with China and India. China, 1.5 billion people. India, 1.2 billion people. Uh, together creates a tremendous opportunity for this riding. Uh, with the commodities, whether it's coal, whether it's uh, oil and gas, uh, for agriculture or forestry products. So we, we do have the potential of uh, doing some great things as we move forward. We're not out of the woods as far as this recession goes. We are, uh, have, have done well. We're actually rated number one uh, by the IMF and the OECD, so uh, we're not used to that as Canadians being number one, but nonetheless, uh, the opposition decided to throw us into an election, so that's where we're at. Uh, this is a very serious election in the sense that if we do not form a majority government and are allowed to continue with our budget and our economic action plan, uh, this could, uh, you know, all of the other parties are saying those, that tax advantage will disappear, the taxes are going to go up, and uh, we will be uh, losing a significant number of jobs. Actually, Jack Mintz, who's an expert on the corporate tax increases, say that if uh, it goes up to 18%, uh, we will lose 200,000 jobs. So that's his words, not mine. Uh, we're into this election. I am very pleased that uh, uh, the way things are going, uh, I trust in Canadians and I honour uh, 
your vote. I ask for your vote as we move into this you, uh, next uh, 